Hello and welcome back to the second part of ugh, um, yeah, Kerbal Space Program, where we'll be returning home to Kerbin. And we have Jebediah, Bill, and Dandy here with us. Pilot, pilot, and an engineer who will no longer be needing up here because uh, only the scientists are. Anything. Okay, and I'm using my electric charge. I'm lights right now if you should so well lift off those gears are looking a little bit weird since the update the trajectory from that thousand thirty thousand it's a good burn Stop spinning. I'm gonna be aiming for around this part here, right under the green circle, in between the green and the blue. Let's try and create my my orbit, which should hopefully land us on an escape trajectory of Minmus. Shouldn't be too difficult. Nope, that works. And I'm gonna turn this back down because I can save fuel by going off it. Wish it would. Why does it do that? Ah. Oh. There we go. 18 meter per second burn. In three hours. Alright. Let's fast forward to that. Huh. Here we are coming up on the maneuver node. So I'll orient my craft. The retrieval four. I'll orient it back towards my target marker and then I'll get a little bit of a burst out of the engines oh it's a weird jump that should do it see yeah, that is definitely an escape trajectory. All right. Just gonna 
get the ship out of here. First and foremost. Here we go. Alright. That is a wide, wide orbit. Outside of Minmus, in fact. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a maneuver at my apoapsis. Lower my periapsis as low as I dare. It's gonna be about not a thousand meters. Not that daring. Eighty-four thousand. Let's shoot for that. And it's a retrograde burn we shall be making. It's in twenty-six days, so quite a while. Let's let's just fast forward through some of that. All right, so now I'm on my uh, my apoapsis, which is the highest point of my orbit, um, which is the easiest uh, place to be when manipulating the opposite end of my orbit, which is the lowest part, and that's what I want to bring lower in order to be able to uh, to land this thing. So. Oh. Uh, reaction wheels and, and this thing aren't sufficient to control it and I'm out of monopropellant which makes navigation a little bit sticky but I do have that trick here I can catch it there all right and then just time warp a little bit see so I can get us to our to our destination place. Here we go. Firing the engines. Kerbal's looking a little worried there. I would be, because this heat shield is still on the wrong side. Mm. There we go. Let's see what our pair. Periapsis looks like. Periapsis of 81,000. I do like that. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward oh, until we get somewhere closer there. This is nowhere close to there. Okay. Did I just go around? I did. And again. What's that shit? What's this shit? Alright. And my periapsis is not getting lower. So I'm not quite understanding. It should be turning down my speed when I get this close to the surface. Uh, I guess I'll just do it manually. Unless my periapsis, did I misread? No, 83,000 meters.
Oh, no one saw him. That. Periapsis is still. Gonna get a little bit closer. And here we are at the 86,000. And I'm going to do a little bit of a retrograde burn here. Try and bring down this way too large apoapsis. And in turn, our orbital speed. It'll also bring us inside of the moon and Minmus's ranges so that we won't encounter them and get knocked out of our orbit. So that's nice. Right, I'm just burning um, retrograde against my uh, against my direction travel or whatever you want to call it and like I said trying to lower my apoapsis something more manageable so that my speed won't be as high Set. Fifteen hundred kilometers. Like it to keep decreasing a little bit. I don't mind this periapsis because I'm a, I've moved away from it a little bit. So now my maneuver is also decreasing my, um, yeah, my, my periapsis so that I won't be as, uh, as high up when I pass over the second time. But it's okay, because I'm, I want to be uh, using the atmosphere to air break a bit as I, if I get the chance. So I think this is enough. I think I'm going to go for a second pass now. I have a lot of debris floating around. Littered universe. Almost like real life. Uh, no, 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 no. Here, yeah, okay. That's a good fun. I like that. A retrograde burn. Hopefully, taking enough of my speed off and lowering my apoapsis into a much tighter orbit. I go for about a hundred fifty, I think. There we go. It's a nice round orbit. Alright. Am I in the atmosphere yet? No, I am not. I like in the upper outer reaches outside of it. So what I can do now is here to my apoaps and I can add a maneuver to slightly lower. My period for thirty that's too much probably. Um 61 I want to go for about about 50 if I can yeah that's that's what I'm that's what I'll be trying to do just trying to 
adjust my vehicle to the target here. Minus 15 minutes, 14, 13, 12, 10. Wait, what's that? No, seriously, what's that? That's debris from my moon lander in orbit. Okay. An old fuel tank or something. That's useless. I don't know why I'm spinning out of control now. I don't much care for it. Oh, it's because it's it's set to retrograde, so it's trying to readjust. Just stability assist then. Just just stability assist. Do 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 do. All right. See what's my period is now fifty thousand. All right, that should be good. So I pass around here, and we'll be on the bright side for our possible re-entry. I might do a pass just to um, bring up some speed, unless I bleed off so much now that it just doesn't matter. Um, I shouldn't need the heat shield, technically, at this speed. Um, yeah, I guess I guess we'll see how it goes. Why do I only have what? What are these shoots? What kind of shoots do I have? All right, unsafe to deploy shoot. Don't deploy the shoot then. I fast forward a little bit, I'm trying to get a little bit lower. Still counting down. I'm in the atmosphere at the moment. It's not slowing me down much, but that should change as I said I'm gonna speed up a little bit just because that's be that'll be okay. Alright, I think I'm gonna do second pass and I think I'm gonna have to go for forty. Forty K. Or do I? No, I don't. This is going in, guys. Let's see if it'll blow up, though. I don't want it to blow up horribly, but. It does tend to happen in this game. Let's see if I'm still on there. Yep, it so looks like I'm gonna land in the ocean.
As long as I bleed off enough speed. Yeah, I think it should be fine. It's not bleeding off very quickly though. I think I'm gonna give it like a slight burst here. Down to 30 fuel. I think I'm going to be a little bit pushy about it, as um, I was bragging about not having to reload in the other episode, but I have actually reloaded this once or twice. Because this lander design, it's 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 great for for moons and all, but this re-entry stuff with the useless heat shield, I do, I do need to fix that. Atmosphere is getting thicker and I'm dropping slower. So that's nice. Um, yeah. Starting to see the ocean down below. And I think I've almost bled off enough speed. Maybe, maybe I can use my action gear air brake. Nope. <laughs> um, so, uh, no, not to do that now. Should be alright though. I have I have parachutes and uh, worst case scenario the engine does tend to take off a little bit of the punch like I usually would eject the engine but I think today I'm gonna leave it on see if I can if I can retrieve that see the idea was to eject it and then just drop it with the heat shield facing down but um, the heat shield just isn't heavy enough the, for some reason this uh, crew cabin thing it tends to tends to deploy instead. We're gonna fast forward this a little bit. It's just yes. Oh, I dropped it. Never mind. Um. Yeah, I think I think this is a successful landing. Uh, this this thing will not take ground impact, but. I would be surprised if we hit the ground from where we are now. So it looks like we will be retrieving a bunch of science, three kerbals, and a landing capsule here. With some ablator and a heat shield attached to it. Uh, yeah. They're just gonna. Do I have the lights on? Are the lights even on this? No, they aren't. I ejected the lights. Never mind. Well, come on then. Oh, that was just the parachute. Does not look like we're getting closer. To say that we are, though. Down at 50 meters. Let's see. Yes, yes, yes. Great. Recover vessel. And that's it, guys. That's a successful mission in Kerbal Space Program. Where I have been retrieving a bunch of science. Eight twenty one. 
bunch of stuff from Minmus. Parts. Some stuff and of course the crew. Gain some XP, so that's nice. Jebediah does not want to level up, it seems. Alright, that's it. 